All right, so a partial eclipse will soon be coming to Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Davis Nolan joins us now with more on how you can see it. Davis. Well, Mark, you know, I'll never forget back in 2017 in August how the sky went completely dark in the middle of the day. Yes, indeed, we were all cheering. I was up in Gallatin at Triple Creek Park there, and it was a beautiful sight to see. Now, as Mark mentioned, this year, coming up April 8th, we're not going to see a total eclipse. We're going to see a partial eclipse here in Nashville. But guess what? It's going to be 90 to 95% eclipse, which means there'll just be a slight sliver of the sun left. Let me go to the maps here and show you the total eclipse will be from Texas through parts of Arkansas, southeast Oklahoma, southeast Missouri, southern parts of Illinois and Indiana, and up into northern sections of New England. And here in Middle Tennessee and southern Kentucky, we're talking about 90 to even maybe 95% of the eclipse. Just a little sliver of the sun will all be, be all that's left to see. Now, it is important, even though that'll just be a sliver left, you can't look directly at it. Unlike the total eclipse where you could take the glasses off once it was totally eclipsed, this time that partial eclipse, you can't look straight at it, even though it's just a sliver of the sun. And by the way, it's not that far of a drive here from Nashville and Middle Tennessee. You can go to places like Little Rock, Arkansas. You can go to places like Southeast Missouri around uh, Cape Girardeau, uh, Poplar Bluff, and stretching up into Carbondale, Illinois, into parts of southern Indiana to see that eclipse there. And it's about a two to maybe four hour drive at most to get to the totality. But here at home, it'll still be quite a show. But remember, you have to have those eclipse glasses. Where can you get some of those? Go to WKRN.com. I'm going to link you to this website. This is a company out of Memphis that makes these glasses. They're NASA approved, iOS approved, and 10% of the sales goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Janet of Janet's Planet subscribes to these as well. So go to WKRN.com. I'll link you on how to get those glasses.